And we're back with more hand and brain this time. Ben will be the hand, and I will be the brain. Which one do you think is harder, by the way? Ooh. I think brain does more of the work. Well, this doesn't bode well for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I hit the same Pawn. Too. Okay. We should mix it up at some point. Pawn. Could have mixed it up with the e-pawn. Knight. I will not hover. Pawn. I believe you played the exchange. You're gonna go for hover over that bishop? Bishop. Pawn. Bishop. Some people play the queen first, but... Let's go queen. But I'm weird here. Oh. Uh, do a different order. <laughs> Alright, well. Knight. King. I bet that you'll see that the queen is better on d2. Pawn. Right, isn't it nice now the queen defends the pawn? In a lot of lines, you go queen c2 and then queen d2. I'm like, hey, just go queen d2 and 1 and save yourself a move. The queen's so pretty on c2, supporting the bishop. It's actually pretty good on d2, though. But is it pretty? I'm about the aesthetics. Bishop, make a decision. I'm just losing a pawn. Oh, pawn. <laughs> I suppose we can play in the center. I could have thought about bishop before. Rook. Like, this is such a pleasant <laughs> position. But what's my queen doing? Uh, pawn. Well, you'll have to figure out what to do without that next. See, wouldn't it be nice if the queen's on c2 to stop the knight moving? Yeah, I'd threaten bishop h7 in some lines. It'd be brilliant. And my queen wouldn't be hit by knight c4, which is obviously a disaster. Maybe I think too much when I'm a hand. Brain, you mean? Wait, which one is which, by the way? Hand is... You see your hand is on the mouse? That makes you the hand. The brain says the piece. Maybe I should <laughs> Maybe I should think less as the brain. Okay. Too much brain think. I am realizing... Brains are not for thinking. Hands are for thinking. Pawn. Pawn. Okay, this isn't looks the, pretty isn't good. Isn't the queen nice on t2? <laughs> well, that, that's Pawn. Okay. Boo! Boo! King. Oh, I thought my rook was defending this. Yeah. Sorry. Right, Should clean the glasses. Okay, so this is not as good now. Whose mm. fault is that? If our queen was on c2. Um, pawn? Sorry, I thought the rook was defending the pawn. No, that's fine. We're still just going to checkmate them, though. That's the dream. Pawn? How many of the last moves <laughs> have just been pawn moves? That's what brains do. We just say pawn a lot. Or as my students say, pawn. Uh, knight. Queen. <laughs> Disappointed. Did you look at knight h4? Knight h5? First. No. Did it win? I don't know. It seemed like a nice move to have in. Yeah, fair. And then you take rook and play like queen h6. Yeah, that seems legit. Conceivably, you can even... No, you can't play queen h6 first because they have queen f8. So they've gone to h8, I guess. I mean, I think we still have some something going on here.
Yeah, this is hard for them. Night. It's not all my own, guys. Isn't it nice? Queen would be nice on D2, eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. In fact, in the other line, too, yeah. If we had taken Rook, and then we would have had Knight H5, but it's okay. It's okay. Not salty. Queen. I thought you'd be so excited to go back to d2. Well, I was wondering if there's some, like, other queen entry square yeah. that threatens on f7. Queen. Check. Might be main. Queen. You make a move there. Okay, let's give a check. Good. <laughs> Last minute, just pulling it around. Rook. I really don't see what we're doing here. Rook takes f2. Rook takes f7. No, I don't see that working. That work? On oh, rook c1. Rook c1, okay. I thought it hindered their king running. That threatened useful discoveries. I didn't even look at rook c1. Well, if they go, they make certain kinds of moves. Knight. Night. You can take over. Okay. Um, okay. It's not good. Queen D4. Yeah, move the rook over and then move the knight. Got knight t5. That's a useful idea. That's not a good square. No. 
It's a different kind of computer. Ah, that's cute. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, they were just trying to clock you. Right. One person's imagined genius is another person's lazy attempt at clocking. This is not good. Yeah. All right. Oh, for one. Strike that out. was interesting. I mean, yeah. We got a good position. We got a great position. Oh, you're opening. I assume F6 is just we'll lose the rest of the game, but. It's like if CD4 just. Maybe just takes on F on G7 first. Yeah. Maybe I'm giving up a pawn anyway. G5. Didn't realize I wasn't holding it. Huh. I mean, this looks like compensation, but. So maybe not f5 yet. Looks so right though. Is it not? It does look pretty good. There's a knight of four here, insane. Mm. Probably not. I mean, honestly, what happened in the game actually didn't. It was like pretty good. It was pretty good because. I, I mean, missed so, the knight h5 idea. Yeah, especially earlier. to get the knight h5 idea. But what we all learned from this is never put your queen on d2. Rematch. Literally the same guy. Pawn. Pawn. Okay. Knight. Pawn. Bishop. Pawn. Is this what you normally play against us? Yeah, usually. Pawn. Knight. Just wanted to make you feel bad. I, I would play h6 and bishop e6. Uh, yeah. King. Just, just clicking pieces, throw me off. Think they might play d5. Is that what you're suggesting? Pawn. We're not on the same way of playing this game. Are you saying a5? I would have played like h6, I think. It wasn't. But I'm a slow player. Uh... <laughs> you say it like I'm slow in the head. Pop. Okay, it's a question. It's a... Yeah, I think I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a good game. This is gonna be a good one. You can tell when none of the moves are the same. You're gonna play d5? Yeah. Ugh. Bishop. You can't get it wrong. I could have got it wrong. Bishop. Bishop? <laughs> uh, okay, sure. Boom. Brilliant reposition. To this square we can get to. Bishop. Yeah, now they're just beautiful looking over there. Really, chess is just Queen? About, like hard, you know. Hmm. Queen. <laughs> Mm. 
You're just like, you made a useless move with your queen. I'll spend two moves getting it to d7. Queen. Three <laughs> new moves. What was wrong with, like, moving the pieces over to the side of the board and start defending things with our queen and pushing pawns? Oh, well, I wanted to defend things with the rooks and get the queen out of the way to do so. Knight. There's like some intermediary square. Pawn. Pawn. Well, I wonder what my longest streak of saying pawn in a row can be. We had one of. We had a six. we had a pretty good streak there. Pawn. Queen. I stabbed the rook there, but yeah, everyone wants a rook on a seven. Rook. Actually, how do they defend the ball? <laughs> we win this game. Just a this miracle. brilliant repositioning. We're actually intentionally Pawn. losing tempo. Yeah. Queen b8 to induce them to overextend. Oh, they're going to play queen d4. Hmm. Queen. I mean, it's definitely tough for them. Rook. Queen on a seven. Oh, the other rook on d seven, but I'm sure it makes much of a difference. Do they have a? They have rook b one there. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, rook. I'm trying to get my queen trapped. Our queen trapped. You did a good job. Yeah, thank you. I try. Strong player. Very strong. The girlfriend has told me I shouldn't say I'm an idiot after I make idiotic moves. Yeah, I think I just yell obscenities that people <laughs> are concerned. Hi, uh, Queen. But. I like the idea of, you know, like when you're watching a GM play, right? And they blunder horribly. Uh, I guess we have to play Bishop. They blunder horribly, right? And then King. And they go, ah, I missed that. I forgot that, right? They always forgot. But I just play terrible. Queen. Like I said, I just played terrible. Oh, I missed that. Um, is there a precise thing to do? Let's go rook. Sorry, that's not a move I should take any time on because it doesn't matter which way. Knight. It's terrible. Jesus Christ. Ugh. I am an idiot. Huh? Rook. Oh, sorry about this one. I will take the blame for this. Mm. King. Knight. Gives us some options. 
Yeah, I think that was a good move. Rook. Mm -hmm. I want to go to the fence, but I guess we're just not going to go to the fence. Oh, they're going to try to check me this. That's then we'll check my then, it's fine. It's pretty. I think we should be excited to see, like, I guess they can't play rook d7 yet, but, like, if we could get our king up to g4, I think we'd have real counterplay. Yeah, they actually might have to, uh... Knight. Let's come in here. Start... King. We're gonna have to... Go ahead. Yeah, you're gonna be taking over now. You can take over this turn. But I assume we're going, like, rook b2 next? Yeah, and then, like, a6 and g5. Or, try to get the king first. Yeah. I'm not clear exactly where we go. Then I may come back to e5 and, um, come to g4. I think that might be a good idea. Like, if they play, like, rook c8... But if they play rook c8 to rook h8, I like knight e5 to g4, because we cover it. And d3 is good, too, right? I was thinking defend h6, but I think both are... Reasonable. So now, now rook d6 is interesting. I might just yeah, rook d6 is interesting. Um, well, I just like this to tie them down a bit. Maybe yeah, g5 some maybe. Or gain some time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's get the king in now. Uh, rook c3. Rook c3. G5. It's a weird thing. D2 check. D2 check. And take E4. Gotta play quick. Check knight three. Yeah. Nice. We get them with the with the nicely done. Crappy like little action there. All right, so we're uh, one and one, one for two. How'd that go? Well, so we may not want to relook at that opening, <laughs> but this part was interesting. I missed bishop d7 when I played queen d6. I thought that was just safe. So we're just up two pawns here. And then suddenly we are not. So you can just move, like... Move the rook away. Yeah. And then play queen d6. Quality. They might have perpetual there, though. It's like rook c7, queen e5 picks it off, so we have to go to like b7 or a7. Yeah, so rook b7. Let's say, yeah, and then queen e5 check. Possible we can go to h6 and play g5, actually. Interesting. So I think we can get out. It's still tricky. Yeah. Probably. Right, sorry about the blunders. How do I even know play? <clears throat> play. Hmm. <laughs> We're the only one. Knight. We're like the only people in the pool or something. Apparently. Yeah, like pawn. Knight. Four knights. Knight. Pre move king. Pawn. Pawn. No! Oh! They don't have the knight on f6. They don't have the knight on f6. They don't have the knight on f6. It's still going to be fine. We have compensation. It's fine. It's fine. Comp. Pawn. It's fine. It's fine. Easy compensation. Pawn. This is fine. This is fine. It's the dog burn in the burning house gift. Um... <laughs> Ugh. Bishop. 
Yeah. That's what I wanted. I didn't even think about it. <laughs> Not a thing you want to put into Pawn? That's pretty good. Move. <laughs> pawn. Yep, now we go to the center. But we didn't want a center. We need to get the pawns out of the way so we can check maybe. Apparently our connection's bad. Uh, king. Yeah, I mean, this pawn's lost. <laughs> All the pawns are lost. Um, He's given Bishop. Alright, this is just classical development, right? <laughs> we have two center pawns ish. We've castled, we've developed our knights and bishops. We were following the same principle of not move the same piece twice in the opening. Yep. We had already moved the d pawns, we couldn't move it again. Right? We didn't want that knight, it got in the way. This seems risky. I mean, okay. Pawn. Let's do this thing. Okay. I thought queen d3. Also. Attacking the knight and threatening with the rook over. I figured they'd just ignore the attack. I feel like we're down a lot of material. I might think we're down more than we are. We're down a pawn. Aren't we down a piece? Oh yeah, we are down a piece. That is true. Whose fault was that again? Uh, no one can say. It's been lost to the uh, sands of time. Um, you know what, queen? Yeah. I think it would be funny if we can play knight takes f6 checkmate at any point. Ooh, that would be fun. Alright, so this is all opening theory. <laughs> Just so everyone knows. Uh, bishop. Good check. Everyone knows this is opening theory. Um, bishop. Knight? <laughs> Hope lives, Ben. <laughs> they take our bishop. Uh, come on. Hmm. Rook? Make sure we're not losing anything here. I think we're better. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Guess we'll be taking this. Yeah. Right, well, nice, nicely played opening. <laughs> nicely prepared. We, we had this the whole way. People say the Halloween gambit. But this is the true. Um... Knight. Might be the wrong order. Queen. I like this. They have a check, though. Terrifying. King. Oh, I thought our knight might have a nice home. They have a bad bishop. There are some concerns. Though actually, if their bishop was a pawn, and we could play like queen b4, we'd be threatening uh, knight g6, and then uh, king g8, queen f8, or takes knight e7. Okay, they are allowed to make moves. But, pawn. Um. I guess we'll push it. I don't want to let their bishop out. Um, I guess that might be good though, because check. Okay, so maybe this is fine. Pawn. I don't understand. I like don't understand. We have to like this game afterwards. 
Did, did we have wins you saw that were different? I thought knight f5 was really good. I did take on g7 and take on f6 with the pawn. Oh, this turn. I thought knight f5 just queen d5. I guess I can make these trades. Let those come off. Pawn? Night. I have a threat. We have a threat. We have a few threats. We have a couple of things that are tight. Yeah. Night. One more. Brook. It's pretty game over there. Yeah. Brook E8 is. Sorry, I, I can't say moves. Sorry, a Rook move in the near future <laughs> may prove strong. Like Rook takes H6 or Rook E8. Who can say? Yes, we should we should add this to the opening book prep. <laughs> F four exclam refutes three bishop c five, which definitely needed refuting. Definitely a good move that lots of strong players make. All right, that was a, that was a fun one. <laughs> yeah, down down a piece with a interesting compensation. Oh, we're just gonna get this guy again. <laughs> we should probably just rematch. Okay. Ooh, twenty four fifty. Uh, pawn. No. Whatever you want. You're a believer in the queen's pawn. Oatmeal foamy pawn. Still a believer in the queen's pawn. I don't know what you do here. So I'm going to say traditional things. Like pawn. Should I do this? But bishop. Did they move order you out of your standard stuff? I thought you played, like, two knights, c3. It's, like, I honestly don't really know what the okay. difference is with the pawn on c3 and the... Like, I think it all kind of ends up... The big thing I do is play the bishop to d3, though. And I move the knight around to places. Knight. I think. Ah, they went for it. I was hoping they couldn't. Uh, knight. Twenty four fifty it's a lot of rating points. Many rating. Knight. But I feel like they have played this opening poorly. I think they should have played C five last turn. King. I also think a uh, knight C three was inaccurate from us. But oh, whose fault was that? I wanted knight f3. Excuse me, moi. Uh, but you should know that I'm likely to play knight c3. You have to be prepared for these kinds of things. Sorry. Okay, I'll take I'll take these slings and arrows for that. Bishop? Um, I feel like there should be a period where if you, like, moan, I can be like, nope, pawn, pawn, pawn. <laughs> I said pawn the whole way. Remember, did you hear me say pawn? Let's come here. But I told you to play the pawn. Like, you have your back out period if they don't instantly click with whatever horrible design you have. I just wanted to conclude development. I had no idea. Is it? Um, 
Fisher. <laughs> I strongly suspect you don't have like a move in mind. I mean, there's not a ton of choices here, are there? I'm gonna do this. Yeah, well, that was not the move I had in mind, but it seems fine. So the idea here is like they're gonna get the knight to f6 anyway, which is a good square for the knight. And so if the knight was gonna be good, then we might as well swap the knight for the bishop instead of putting the bishop on that square. Here, you see how a much worse position has arisen. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I give this like very elaborate <laughs> explanation. Right. It's all fine. It's fine. No problems. Never in doubt. Okay. No interest in d6? No. Is it going to be lost after bishop a6? I didn't really calculate. Pawn. Alright, now we have the ideal pawn structure. Knight? Pawn, exclaim. Queen. We have what is technically called the one bishop advantage. Sorry, the one knight advantage. This could be worse. It's aggressive. Rook. Queen. In a bad position. <sighs> Rook. Rook. As we all know, opposite bishops is a draw. <laughs> Do we have knight? Knight. I didn't calculate this properly, so I'm playing hope chess. Well, hopefully, I don't check me this. Queen. Knight. They don't actually have like super obvious way to run away. I guess we just lose material that way. But you know, what you gonna do? Um, pawn. Tough. Oh, I was thinking we could play a queen d4, queen d4, rook d4, and play rook h4, but they have bishop c5. Oh, but that's not a big deal. Sorry, I lied. Uh, queen. <laughs> he says saying the variation because he's a cheater. Rook. How about they just take king and then I don't have him? Okay, uh, Rook. Sorry about my cheating. Can't help myself. King. Pawn. <laughs> Good save. It's like, wait a <laughs> second here. Uh, Rook. 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 
I can go. Alright. Easy, easy little loss here. They could just probably pull up checkmate here with bishops. King g2, probably. That's nice. Now bishop d3. Hmm. Be a pawn. Okay. Well, we have a pawn to push. We do Can we get our rook behind theirs? Not really. <laughs> Let's do a check. That's a reasonable try. I don't think we got there in time. Maybe mm. rook h7? No, oh, they can't get over. Yeah. Alright, alright. Okay. Uh, so that... 2400 is a good. Yeah. Let's get it to the fire. Play again. Alright. I don't know if anyone rematches and. No. Because this interface is so confusing, <laughs> you wouldn't even know if they had offered it or not. There is a little pop up. <clears throat> Are you questioning the glory of chess.com's interface? Pawn. Okay, let's let's keep this going. Knight. Pawn. Knight. Knight. Pawn. We're in an exchange French. Ugh. Bishop. King. Pawn. Bishop. Bishop. Knight. So he's making all sorts of Fine, I mean, they can hear the computer make its crumbles. Pawn. Bishop. Pawn. Pawn. I'm on a streak. I got three in a row. Pawn. I think it's gonna die here. G5 is a legal move. That is true. Rook. Queen. Rook. Rook. Oh, not Rook. <laughs> Definitely not the Rook. <laughs> um, knight. He says, hmm, of course, knight. <laughs> knight, as I planned all along. Night. Night. I don't really know what this does, but attack something. Night. Yes, my favorite play is the passive aggressive one. I'd wanted knight h7 originally, but this was not a particularly good scheme. Queen. Bishop. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, ignore me. I haven't said a move yet. It's all good. Oh, this is bad, isn't it? 
It's not great. Not exactly sure how this happened. Okay, night. I wanted knight e4, knight takes c5, something that opens some lines for material. Knight. Bishop. I don't know how to cancel pre-moves on a uh, chess. Really? You just left click, okay. <laughs> how do I left click though with the mouse pad? Because I play with the mouse pad. Track pad. Double click. Double click? Okay. I'll try it sometime. Uh Bishop. Knight. Knight F6 is happening a lot <laughs> in this game. Yeah, this is so bad. Rook. Grovel. <laughs> Just sit here and grovel miserably. Uh, this is my fault. I think I should have not let the bishop get into G, G3 square. Something. Uh -huh. Pawn. Aggressive. We've got them right where we want oh, that them. that was a clever move. Um, rook. Bill on this. Activity. <laughs> we just want activity all along. Forcing him to take bishop, because now rook. Followed by rook. Now look, their pawns are collapsing if they can't find knight f3. Then we will play knight. Genius. It's all under control the whole way. Except for the fact that Knight. I did a queen in the middle of it. It's fine. Queen schmeans. I mean, there's a legit mating net here. Yeah. With pawns. No, even without the pawns. You can mate with just miners. Alright, Rook. Maybe that was better than my move. No, it wasn't. Oh, Rick. You say no, it wasn't? No, it wasn't. Well, now we can't do anything. Uh, knight? Unless we can. Knight? Eh. I'm sorry for doubting this. It doesn't look completely over yet. Probably king. King? I like that six. King? Okay. No, I'm gonna go. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, six next. You mean king d2. The rest d7. Yeah. I know we're just playing. As we were the whole way. Never in doubt? Never in doubt. Uh, now the problem is, we're gonna clock, but... We can't have everything. If you had a mouse pad, that might be nice. Uh, but I put it with the trackpad anyway. If I knight g4, do we play like h5, h4? Oh, check it is good. Uh, yeah. We'll have a five. No, but the problem is they play a bishop a six now. Ah, oh, but we have time for king b seven. What am I doing? Yeah. Sorry, I can't think. The brain has gone. If it was ever there. Actually, was the knight trapped? We have played a bishop g8. 
Might still be able to. Might still be able to. Then I'll have bishop a6. Yeah. But we'll be up a pawn in that endgame, right? Yeah. Same color bishops should be pretty good. Maybe we'll be too tight down if they get the king to f4. That's obviously. No Seems a safe green move. Unless they play bishop g4. Yeah, bring the king to e6. Maybe an e4 coming. Yeah, that's nice. We have king f6 if they move the pawn. Maybe bring the bishop to g6. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And bishop g6. No, we don't have. I think they're gonna take. G3. Too slow. Not that it matters, but I bet if you go here, you can get all their pawns. Like that. So they take our pawn. Yeah, king comes in. Yeah, this is good. King goes in. Yeah. How'd we survive that, though? I think that was all you. I thought, um, I mean, they stopped it with this move, but I thought it was cute that, uh, if we get, say, they make a wasteful move. I thought this was a cute checkmate. Yeah. yeah I didn't have any good plans. I shouldn't have, uh, exchanged the pawns. Well, well I thought that maybe I messed up. We go back a couple moves. Yeah, on c5. Maybe bishop f4. Bishop f4, bishop c7. Yeah, bishop f4, f4 is fine because you can't really yeah. get pinned. I actually like bishop e7 more. Here. Okay. Yeah. It's like a QGD. Yeah, it's all like a QGD. Alright, one more? Sure, one more. Pawn. No more d4. You know they're American, American d4. not because of the flag, but because their name's soccer. Knight, fine. I've got good results in this. I know. Knight. But I'm just going to sound depressed and angsty for the rest of the game. Knight. Come on, bishop f5. You play queen here. I play knight. Pre move queen. Bishop. Knight. Queen. If I get these positions, I play e4 every game. King. Pawn. Pawn. I mean, it just plays itself. I thought if they played c5, it was trickier last turn. Knight. They should play c5, yeah. Yeah. 
bishop. I guess that's okay. Not on bishop e3. But there is indeed tactical justification. Up there? Isn't there? I don't know. A rook? I'm not sure if there is. Don't we just want a piece? Oh. I mean, which which way are they coming to f4? Well, let's say they go to the bishop. Uh, pawn. Let's make them go with the knight, because then it all works. I guess it doesn't. They can play g5 at the end. Do you want, you want to play the pawn, you said? Yeah. Pawn. Do you just want me to go here? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not certain it works. So if they go with the knight, though... Okay, then this is good. They can play g5, but I assume that we're happy to see that. Yeah, I thought the bishop was a little trickier. And then if we go there, we need, we need four, they've got a five. Yeah. Thinking is bad. Bishop. <laughs> I immediately start thinking. So bishop. Okay. Bishop. So I can't take an H seven. So I really don't know what you want me to do. Bishop h7, king h7. Queen e4, king moves. King g8, no, this is not doing it. Classical development. Don't okay. forget all the pieces. I thought this bishop e2 idea was interesting. Because sometimes you see that in queen's pawn openings. And yeah. Rook. Bishop. Like in that Pillsbury game we looked at. Yeah. Which is a exactly. similar structure. Yeah, exactly. Except without F6 turn on. I think I actually showed that game on one of my uh, videos, just because I got a similar structure. They took on c4, so I got nothing related to it, but I was all excited to show it, so. It's a pretty sweet game. Pillsbury was good. Might have been, like, the third good chess player. Queen. Okay, queen e4 is better. Not sure there's a real difference. Rook. So I'd say queen of five is interesting. For that? Yeah. Um. Rook. Yeah, pretty. 
Like, we don't need to do anything dramatic in this position. I agree. Um, queen. Speaking of dramatic. Pawn. Bishop. Queen. He's hovering over the knight almost as if to hint knight e5 is a threat. Almost. Pawn? I want a b3. Makes right. sense. No b3 is better. Yeah. Queen? Same way it's locked. I'm really liking this. What? Go. Uh, Rook. Oh, they're still low on time, so I'm going to say Bishop. And I, you can take over and clock them. Heroically. Probably knight t3. Maybe c5. Is it covered? Boom! Wow, nice. That was pretty reasonable. Like a normalish chess game. Yeah, that was like a normalish chess game. All right, uh, we went five for five. We won all our games, as any viewer can see. I Hold think that us. my face has just been like off the <laughs> camera screen. for this entire time because I'm in like this tilted zone. Ooh, well, I'm deeply sorry to our viewer, um, but yeah, good games.